In the last video, we talked about how to change the cursor on your web page using CSS. But we did not talk about how to use a custom cursor. And that's what we're going to do in this video. And to do that, we have to use the value URL. Now, I created a website folder here that contains, of course, our index.html and our style sheet. And in there, I copied the icon that we're going to use for our cursor, which in this case is mail.ico. Now, if you want to follow along, you can search your uh, C drive or your computer using this criteria, wildcard.ico. And that should bring up a ton of icons that you can use. Uh, you can also go to Google and search for free icons, and you'll get thousands of results. But the main thing is to copy whatever you decide to use to the website folder so you don't have to specify the path. And I'll show you that in a minute. So let's go ahead and uh, open up our web page here for just a second. So what we're going to do is use a different cursor when we hover over this button. And we're going to use this mail icon. So let's close this out. And of course, we have to go down to hover. And I've already typed this out, so I'll just copy and paste it here. Now, of course, cursor is the property. The value is URL. And this is where we specify the file. And as I said, we don't have to put a path here because it's in the same folder that our style sheet and index.html are located. Now, what this default does is if the browser cannot load this file, it will use the default cursors that the browser loads. And so that's a good sort of safety mechanism to set up here. So always make sure you put this in. OK, so let's go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and open up our index.html. And we'll now hover over the button. And you can see now we've got our custom cursor that we wanted to use. OK, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.